Hey guys, this is Ron from the Ron Chair Culture back at it again with another video. And I want to show you guys something. But first, thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you for you guys commenting. Much appreciated. I'm pumping out these videos like pumping cream in pumpkin. Okay, anyway, I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to do that. But Uber just sent out to me an inbox about their wait time policy. I've seen the policy on the Facebook group. People did screenshots of it. Now that I got it, I've seen the information and I'm gonna read it to you guys and I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm not liking it. I ain't digging it. So let's look at it together. So I'm on my I'm on my um inbox in the iPhone here. Ooh, somebody gave me a tip. Appreciate that to whoever that was. And uh update to wait time policy. Alrighty, look at this here. They got a happy guy. Matter of fact, let's see. Is he even happy? Does he even look happy though? I don't know. He was like, yo, why are you getting in my car for? Anyway, here's what they're saying. We're extending the wait time window from five to seven on Uber X and XL trips. After two minutes, you'll get paid per minute for the time you're you're waiting. If there is a surge in the area, you'll get paid a higher wait time fee. If your rider is late, once you arrive to at the pickup shop and have waited two minutes, you'll get paid a per minute fee. The fee will automatically be added to your fare. If there is a surge in the area, a higher wait time fee will be added per minute fee. If your rider doesn't show, you can charge riders a cancellation fee after seven minutes. If you don't want to wait, you can cancel at any time on how busy it is. You might have to wait longer to get another trip rather than you have rather if, if you had wait for your driver. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna first put this thing out. I'm gonna first put this thing out to everybody. If y'all listen to my videos, I've been saying this that Uber is its own company. Uber does not focus on the drivers itself. That's not what it was for. Uh, in the beginning, they threw money at us to make us happy. It got a lot of people hooked on being Uber drivers. Uh, throughout the country, throughout the world, and now you have this stuff happening. So they kind of like, like with the with the video I just did about the rating policy, right? I'm like, I right, not rating policy, but the rating preference, right? I want this person to be this rating. I want that person to be uh, that rating. And I'm like, is somebody really asking for that? Are we really asking? <laughs> are we really asking for um for that kind of stuff? For rating preferences, for auto accept, right? Because they got a lot of stuff. Auto accept, uh, rating preferences. Are we asking for that? We're asking for higher, you know, pay us more, because we are your partners. But guys, got to remember, Uber owns the technology. They own the app. We don't. So I'm gonna say that first. Now let me go into my opinions about what I'm reading. One, they don't give us how much they're gonna pay us now. They don't tell us they don't tell us like how much higher it would be depending on what surge. So like if it's a five dollar surge, ten dollar surge, how much per minute or per minute per dollar would that be? Per dollar per minute, sorry. How much per dollar per minute would that be? I don't have information on that, right? We don't have information of if your rider doesn't show, your riders get a cancellation fee after waiting seven minutes. Is this the same cancellation fee? When we were waiting five minutes, or is this more? I'm talking about without surge. You know, that's a lot of you know questions I have here. Another question I got, actually, not even a question. Is it's really? You guys, you could consider it to be, uh, you could consider it to be, uh, or feel like it's a slap in your face, right? And not really slap in your face because at the end of the day, we know what we're getting into. We signed up for the company. We did. We don't have to drive for Uber. We could drive for any other company. But this is, you know, something maybe you might feel like offended by this. They literally said, depending on how busy it is, you might have to wait longer to get another trip request than if you had waited for the first rider. So during the time while you're waiting, and maybe it's like three minutes, you're like, oh my gosh, I want to go home. If you or oh my gosh, I don't want to wait for this person too long. If you cancel, from what I'm understanding, as it sounds like the algorithm, Uber's algorithm is gonna say, oh, this dude canceled midway of waiting for the person, right? 
He waited three minutes, but then he canceled. We're not going to pay him. And we're going to go ahead and actually, we're going to do this. We're going to actually um, um, maybe pause for a moment so he don't get no trips. with the, He or she doesn't get any trips within, I don't know how long, maybe a minute, two minutes or so, whatever the number is. And now I said you have to wait longer. But but why, why are you telling us that you would have to wait longer, Uber? All right? And, you know, once again, I'm not the guy to be complaining about Uber like that because, again, I already know how it is. And I wouldn't want you guys to complain. I'm just giving you information on how I feel about it. And the end of the day, Uber is a business. I know what they're trying to do. They notice that depending on the areas, and I think this is depending on areas. I don't know if everybody has it yet. They want to push forth having passengers getting the car. Because think about it, guys, right? The customer doesn't come down in five minutes. We're gone. We shut off. We actually, some of us actually shut off the app afterwards because we don't want to get that same customer. Because many a times when you shut, when you turn it off and you go back in to see where they were going, many of the times for me, they're going two blocks away, three blocks away. Why would I want to take a trip like that? So I'd rather move away, collect that cancellation fee. I think of it's $4.69. Is it four sixty nine, four dollars and sixty nine cents here in, the, in 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 Miami market? But this is for me to say to you guys, guys. Remember, you guys are independent contractors, okay? Uh, you know, Uber's gonna go ahead and do what they need to do to ensure that they are making profit, so they can make the profit for the investors. Remember, they're geared towards the investors, and they're geared towards the drop the the passengers, the riders, and any other investments throughout. Uh, their company they're not really geared toward delivery drivers or drivers because again this we are an expense to them because they have to pay us out right that's one of the reasons why in the past they were so gung-ho about the robots the self-driving vehicles and putting so much money into that because they figure how much money less can they get by just doing this so with that being said um, I don't like it. I don't think anybody's going to like this. But what's going to do is going to force us to call our passengers. Hey, are you coming down? Are you coming down? Are you coming down? It's going to force us to do little notes in there. Hey, uh, after seven minutes, I'm leaving, right? And why seven? Why not a number like eight? Why not six? Right? You know, and, and Uber's been, been, you know, I remember Uber when they said two minutes. And they were very strict on that two minutes. But they realized there was so much cancellation fees happening. They're like, no, nah, we don't want to deal with that. Because, again, I was making money off of cancellation fees. I was making a lot of money because I would tell my customers, hey, I'm here. They say, okay, I'm on the, on the way down. If you're not down after two minutes, I'm gone because I got to get to the next customer. So, but now that's even harder. It's hard to get that cancellation uh, as a driver. So, with that being said, you saw the new policy there. They're still vague. I don't have all the answers. I'm going to try to figure out if I can get some answers and do an update. But what do you guys think? What are you thinking about this? How do you feel about this policy? Leave your comments in the comment section below. All right? Leave a like to the video if you like it. Leave a dislike if you dislike it. Uh, and let me know. I'm really interested in what you guys are thinking. To me, this is, again, it's not, we're not, it's not geared toward driver's lifestyle. It's geared towards Uber's making a profit, okay? That's just me. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Be easy. It's about a 10-minute video. Sorry for taking so long. But I will catch you guys on the flip side and talk to you guys later. Later. Peace.